All right guys, so over here I got the EcoFlow River 2 Max. I did a little bit of a review on this when it released back in October. Been using that ever since, and I've been testing it out with the EcoFlow 110 watt portable solar panel that you guys see over to the right. Now with the new EcoFlow River line, if you just plug this into a standard AC outlet, it only takes 60 minutes to charge. Fastest charging out of any portable power station that I'm aware of. But I wanted to see how well it did with the EcoFlow 110 watt solar panel. In this video, we're just gonna take a closer look at the EcoFlow 110 watt solar panel. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a real world test that I did with the solar panels charging the River 2 Max. All right guys, so here's the solar panels. You guys can see, not very big at all. Easily portable. I'm gonna say it weighs in between five to 10 pounds, not heavy at all. You got your two straps up top here with the Velcro to hold it together. And then on the side, you got two zippers. So go ahead, open this up, take a closer look at the solar panel itself. So as you can see right on top here, I just went ahead and put my cables for my power station right in here to connect to the solar panel. Now this case does double as a stand also, which is really nice. So here's a solar panel. As you guys can see there, 110 watt solar panel right on the bottom. EcoFlow, really nice material. Good quality build. Go ahead and fold this out here. You're gonna see it folds out to four panels. So once it's even folded out, not too big of a footprint. You're looking at about 70 inches long. And then the width on it is about 16 and a half inches. When it's folded up, you're looking at about 19 inches by 16 and a half. So pretty small footprint. Now go ahead and set it up here for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like with the case being doubled as a stand. All right guys, so that's what it's gonna look like once it's all set up. Pretty easy to do. What you're gonna do is EcoFlow provides you with four of these clips here. You're gonna use those clips to clip the solar panel to the case itself. And that allows it to hold it up at the angle. Now you can adjust this angle. Um, you don't have to use the case. There's been times where I actually just prop this up against the wall, depending on the circumstances. But as you guys can see there, that's what it's gonna look like. when you're using the case as the stand. All right guys, so as you can see, not hard at all. Easy setup, easy takedown, real simple to do, not time consuming, lightweight setup, great for camping or anything like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the testing I did with the solar panel. This isn't gonna be any technical testing. I'm not gonna use any voltage test or anything like that. This is gonna be your real world your average person just buying one of these power stations and a solar panel and then using it outside and using the solar panel to charge this power station. So we'll go ahead and we'll get into that footage. All right guys, so I started this test off with the power station at 0%. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We're getting about 45 watts from the sun right now. I adjusted the panels in the corner of my trailer here um, the best I could to get the optimal wattage from the sun. It's a little bit of an overcast day today, so we're just going to have to manage it the best we can. Alright guys, so just a little update here. I ended up uh, hooking this up at 10 o'clock. It is now about 150. And I've been adjusting the solar panels depending on where the sun's at. It's not super sunny out today. Got a few clouds in the sky. But I'll give you an update of where we're at. 
so right now we're getting about 70 watts we got it at 56 percent says it's got three more hours to go so with it being almost two o'clock right now uh, four hours and we're at 56 percent so not too bad and like I said it's a little overcast day not uh, super bright out we got some clouds in the sky and we're not getting the optimal sunlight right now um, in the past I was able to get this up to close to 100 watts on really sunny days and uh, it's been averaging right around 70 watts throughout the day so still doing pretty good I got it propped up on my trailer here just because it's easier than uh, I didn't want to put in the grass put it up lift it up on the trailer because I figured I'd get a little bit better angle there and uh, so far so good all right guys so we're looking at about almost three o'clock right now I adjusted the panels once again because the Sun is moving like I said not the best sunlight but let's see where we're at right now As you guys can see I'm getting about a little under 40 watts but we're up to 69% already so almost 70% battery capacity charged which isn't bad at all for this low there we go 70% right there so it's charged 70% um, I'm going to try to adjust this panel a little bit more to see if I can get a little bit more wattage out of it. But we're running towards the end of the day with the sunlight here. Alright guys, so we are at 5.04. Pretty much all out of sunlight. But we got 7 hours in with the solar panel with not the greatest ideal situation for sunlight. Like I said, it was a little overcast, but we got it from 0% all the way up to 75%. So I don't think that's bad at all. As you guys can see, it's not getting any wattage in from the solar panel because there's not just not enough sun out, but that's not bad at all. Over seven hours of being out in the sun, average sun. I mean, I was getting anywhere from the highest was like 70, 75 watts earlier in the day, and then it was dropping slowly got it all the way down to 20 watts until just no more sun was left so I'm impressed I think that's pretty good definitely on a day with full sun this thing would have been fully charged no problem probably within about six hours I'm gonna say so I really can't complain I think this uh, setup is a good setup for camping off-grid something like that power goes out you need to rely on this for to power stuff in the house and then uh, during the day you can actually come out here and charge it with the sun i mean this is ideal for a situation like that all right guys so that's it for the testing of this 110 watt ecoflow portable solar panel hopefully you found it useful if you guys are thinking about getting one of these panels or even one of these EcoFlow power stations. EcoFlow is doing a huge Black Friday sale right now, up to 50% off of their products. If you guys are interested in a power station, solar panels, anything like that, check out my links in the description box below. It'll take you to their website. They also sell these on Amazon, so I'll put the Amazon link down there too. And then there's also going to be discount codes that I'll put in the description box. Go ahead and use those discount codes and uh, try to get the best deal possible if you're looking to pick one of these up. If you found this video useful, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys like what I'm doing on my channel. Consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, share the channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you on the next one.